Welcome in to Drew's Daily Diamond for Tuesday, July 30th, 2024. I am Drew Martin breaking down the slate of games. Let me know in the comments below what your MLB picks are for today, where you agree, where you disagree. It helps out the algorithm. Smash that like button if you're liking the content as we got some early action and some prime time, then some late night action all to get into on today's show. First game up, 110 Eastern, 1010 AM Pacific in the Motor City. It's the Cleveland Guardians and the Detroit Tigers. Looks like Gavin Williams on the hill for the Guardians. And undecided, as I'm doing this in the overnight betting market, but it does look like Kente Maeda, likely the starting pitcher. That's how I'm going to handicap this one, guys. Either way, I I think Gavin Williams is going to have the starting pitching edge in this one. The 25-year-old out of ECU, the former Pirate, 4.5 ERA on the season. He is back-to-back against the Detroit Tigers lineup. But in the first start, he did go six innings, three earned with nine strikeouts. Those nine Ks usually point to a a good second performance here. This is game two. Um, It is getaway day for both teams. They're they're both off tomorrow with the early start here. And Maeda is 6.7 ERA last time versus Cleveland. If it is him starting, he didn't make it out of the third inning. Six runs, only two strikeouts. So not a great pass performance there. I mean, Detroit... Overall, a bottom 10 lineup since the All-Star break, a bottom five lineup in Cleveland with the big bullpen edge. Hey, we're likely going to have to lay uh, lay some juice here with Cleveland as the road favorite. But maybe on that run line, minus one in the hook, let's go with Cleveland on the run line. Now, what, over 20 games, over 500. So we're in Cleveland, over Detroit to start us off. Next one up, big time series here. New York Yankees, Philadelphia Phillies, 640 Eastern start time. Big time pitching matchup as well. We get Garrett Cole going for the Bronx Bombers. Aaron Nola going for the Phillies. Phillies minus 120 home favorites. Eight in the hook being the total. Yankees now, what, 63 and 45, 36 and 22. Maybe even more impressive there on the highway. Philadelphia, yes, number one record in baseball. They've been good at home, but they've now lost, what, four of five? They're just uh, three and eight, their last 11. Not playing their best ball of the year. Now, Aaron Nola, first rounder out of LSU, go tag is 3-4 ERA, 126 strikeouts on the season. Not necessarily looking to go against him. And Garrett Cole did have a rough start last time out. Six earned, three home runs versus the Mets. We'll see if he can bounce back. I mean, he's got seven starts on the season and still over a five ERA, a little bit alarming. But overall, the Yankees, you know, the trade, they just had a a kind of offensive uh, explosion yesterday. And I do think Cole bounces back to some extent. Um, although, you know, this Philadelphia lineup, not, uh, I mean, against righties number 11 and they haven't been hot out the gate, but still overall a good lineup. I think the Yankees are able to kind of replicate what they did on Monday's slate. And I think Philly, you know, can get to Garrett Cole. There, there is some question marks there with the, with the big hurler. I mean, you know, the six earned last time out and over the five ERA, like it just said, I mean, eight in the hook, minus 120 to the over. We are seeing a push here to more runs being scored. They just went over on Monday. I think they do it again here. Hitters ballpark. Let's go Yankees, Phillies, up and over the eight in the hook. 7-10 Eastern. Minnesota Twins, New York Mets. City Field, Sean Manaya, the lefty, going for the Metropolitans. David Festa going for the Twins. Eight in the hook being the total. Mets, minus 130, minus 135 home favorites. Um, David Festa, not a guy that I've seen too much, a rookie 24 year old out of Seton Hall. He's got 14 innings pitched in the show, eight earned run, eight ERA, excuse me, 14 innings, 20 hits, 13 earned runs. So not a great performance in the three starts he's already had. And Sean Manai, if you've been watching the show, he's a guy we've been betting on three, seven ERA, 101 strikeouts on the season. He's also three and oh, his last three home starts. So we like this Mets team. Uh, can get them as low as minus 133 here. I think it's a little short. So we'll uh, list Sean Manaya as the starter and jump on the Mets over the Twins. Next one up, heading out west, Southern California for the LA Angels, hosting the Colorado Rockies. 940 Eastern start time, 640 local time. Cal Quantrill going for the Rocks. Griffin Canning for the Halos. Looks like LA minus 129 to as high as minus 135 as the home favorite. Eight in the hook being the total. Colorado, look, on the road, I mean, they're 14 and 40 
54 games they've played outside of cores and they've only won 14. They've lost four straight games coming in. Now they have the former first rounder from Stanford, Cal Quantrill on the Hill four ERA, which is decent for a Colorado starter, but he's got these home road splits that every now and again, the Rockies starters have where they're better at home than they are on the road. I mean, you look at his road, uh, his ERA, batting average, slugging percentage numbers are all higher outside of Coors Field. And he's given up 10 earned the last seven innings on the highway. So we're not really looking to bet on him in this situation. And he's up against Canning. Last time out, five innings, one earned run on one swing of the bat. And he only gave up one home run against the Mariners. Think he can replicate that here. We get a big bullpen edge towards L.A. At home, we're going to list Griffin Canning and go with the Angels over the Rockies. Low watermark, minus 129 in that one. Got one game left, guys. Uh, Reminder, if you could comment below, helping out the algorithm, what your MLB picks are, um, anything of that nature, all is welcome. And uh, please smash that like button if you're liking Drew's Daily Diamond. Going daily right here on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. All right, last game for the card. This is game one of the series, 945 Eastern, 645 Local time, it's the Oakland A's, San Francisco Giants, battle for the Bay. Robbie Ray on the hill for San Francisco. And J.P. Spears, the lefty, going for the A's. So a battle of southpaws here. Seven and a hook being the total. Giants, minus 175 home favorites. A's come in 20 games under 500. Giants, two games under 500. Oakland did win three of four against the Angels, but J.P. Sears gave up nine hits, eight runs his last time out against the Astros. Not necessarily looking to bet on him. And Robbie Ray, the starter here for the Giants, it's only his second start of the season. And he's a guy where in the minors, his strikeout to walk ratio was 45 to eight. So good numbers there that sometimes translates well towards MLB. And in his first start back, he went five innings. Zero hits given up, just one run, eight strikeouts against the L.A. Dodgers. So looking good in his first start back in the show against a pretty good lineup in the Dodgers. So I actually think he can have a a, a good start here against the Athletics. The Giants have won four straight. They swept the Colorado Rockies trying to get to 500 here. They've been a lot better against lefties. They have that lefty-righty dichotomy working in the positive. They're a top 10 lineup out of the All-Star break. Hey, like the Giants here, don't like the price so much. So with the home team, we'll lay the minus one run line. Get that price down. Giants over the Athletics. In recap, we also got the Angels over the Rockies, minus 129. The Mets, minus 133 over the Minnesota Twins. Yankees and Phillies, we're going up and over the eight and a hook. And we got the Cleveland Guardians listing Gavin Williams. Um Minus the run line, probably, to get that line down. But, guys, I am Drew Martin. This is Drew's Daily Diamond. Thanks for tuning in. Smash that like button. We'll talk tomorrow. Come back and join us. Cash those tickets.